Rachel Whiteread largely influences her audience through her artwork. She plays on their emotions and, and has an impact on how they feel. She does this through her artwork and she does this by using everyday objects that her audience can connect to and can relate to. So many of her famous artworks, if you have a look at them, uh, have a look at them, are in a sense portraying information to her audience. And each artwork, it seems as if, is directed to a different and specified audience. So two artworks that I've chosen that are quite different in a way, which are the mattress, which was the airbed, the one that displayed now, that was made in 1991, and the false door, which was created in 1990. These are just two of her artworks, but both of these position the audience to feel a certain way, which is White Reed's intention. First, we'll have a look at the mattress made in 1991. So when you first take a look at this mattress, you can see that it's, it's propped up against a wall, somewhat peculiar to look at to begin with. It, it raises questions of why, why would she put half a mattress, why would she rest half of it up on a wall? But once you start to have a look and unpack her work, and once you know a little bit about her work and how she uses negative space, you can see that not only is it created out of rubber and, and high-density foam, but an important thing to notice and, and something that you'd notice straight away is that it, as it leans against the wall, it's seeking some form of rest. So the colour of the mattress can possibly indicate memories, so past memories that that there were people who may have previously reclined on it. The way that the tracing paper, or the way that she's created it, that it creases around the layer of acrylic that describes a bed, ends up looking like a rumpled sheet. And it hints, as you can see through the photo, it hints at human occupation and bodily traces that, that someone was there or someone may have previously been using it. The watercolour that White Reed has used helps to portray the stains on a typical mattress, once again a strong trace of human beings. And you can see that through this she connects to her audience. She's used an everyday object like a mattress to connect to her audience and there's, there's so much more to say about this particular mattress, about this particular work. But you can see how her audience would connect to this artwork even though it looks so simple and innocent at first glance. So this is Rachel's second piece of artwork that we're looking at today. Um, the False Door, which was made in 1990. And upon first glance at this artwork... Obviously, all you see is a door, which is intentional. It is just a door. But when you take a second look at it, and when you start to look at the intention that White Reed had in doing this, you can see that maybe she's trying to portray the message of this door is an opening and this door is a closing allowing things to enter or potentially allowing shutting things out of your world. The audience may view it just like that as a window of opportunity and entrance or maybe they may look at on the other hand, on the other side, depending on who they are. They may see it as a final departure, the closing of a door. We can see that this drawing is done somewhat on an angle. It's not directly ahead. It's not straight on. But I think that this was also intentional by White Reed in the sense that the viewer is forced to see the facade from the angle, from nearly from the behind, 
blocking off details that you may see when you view it from straight ahead. When viewed from the outside, so if you're standing in front of the door, the purpose of the door obviously is to open. From the inside, the meaning is opposite. And through her use of negative space, we see that maybe she's maybe she is trying to reveal the underlying or the hidden function of the everyday objects that she's using. It appears that White Reed is trying to persuade her audience to view the simple everyday objects and interpret them in the way that she does on her personal level. And maybe she connects more with the negative space and so and so tries to get the audience and her viewers to do so as well. Something that the audience can relate to the way that she relates to her artwork.